Open Nebula now comes with new multi-cloud and edge computing features, supporting interoperability and portability between different public cloud and edge providers. In this screencast, we're going to show how easy it is to use Open Nebula to create a multi-cloud environment using infrastructure resources from Equinix Metal, AWS, and Google Cloud. We'll then show you how to launch applications as LXC system containers on those public cloud locations. First off, we go to the Open Nebula website and to the documentation section. Here we can find the documentation to install MiniOne. MiniOne is the easiest way to install an Open Nebula front end in just a couple of minutes. There's just a couple of lines to type out and then you'll have everything up and running. Once MiniOne has finished installing, you'll see the output on the screen, with the links to Sunstone and FireEdge UIs, as well as the credentials you need to log in. Now let's log into FireEdge, the interface we use to quickly deploy Open Nebula remote clusters. Here we can start adding our first provider. First off, we're going to add a provider from Equinix Metal. We follow the interface and eventually we add a project token and project ID. Next, we'll add some virtual resources from AWS. Again, we follow through the wizard and add the AWS access key and secret. Our third and final provider today will be Google Compute. We're going to be adding virtual resources in London. Again, we follow through the wizard. And at the end, we add in our platform ID and upload our credentials file. All of this can be found via the Google Cloud dashboard. Now we will build open nebula clusters on all three of the providers we've just added. Today we'll be using virtualization type of LXC system containers for all three of them. As you can see, this is very easy to do using our FireEdge UI. You just follow the very simple wizard steps and then you can see everything start building. Now that all of the clusters have been completed, in just a few moments, you will see the light go green to indicate it's online and ready to use. Now let's go to Sunstone using the credentials provided by the Mini One installer. Now let's browse to the storage and the marketplaces section of Open Nebula. Here we will download a central image from the Docker Hub, but we'll provision onto containers on all three of our locations that we previously provisioned. Now that the image has been downloaded successfully, Let's go to the Instances and VMs section of Open Nebula. Here we will first provision our container on Equinix Metal in Amsterdam. After just a few minutes, you can see the VM is now online and it's been provided a public IP address as well. Now we can build our second VM from the same template. This time we'll be using AWS Frankfurt Again, in just a few moments, you can see the VM is now online and has been provided a public IP address. And now let's build our third and final VM for today in Google Cloud in London. Again, it's using the same template as the previous two. And after a few moments, you'll see it's online and be given a public IP address. Now that all of our VMs are online, we can go to any one of them, copy the public IP, and open it up in a new browser. We'll be able to see the default Nginx screen to confirm everything is working okay. Thank you for watching.